What's up people, man right here, coming to you with a video. This time we are going to be replacing the broken and dull blade of my lawnmower. Uh, the tools that we're going to be using for this are this Arnold extension plug extractor thing. The max power 21 inch blade. It is a 21 inch lawnmower along with a air filter and a spark plug that I also got from Amazon. Uh, similar to my previous videos, this is not a sponsor video, so I buy the stuff as is and I give my honest opinion. The first thing I've done is I've tilted the lawnmower over with the oil side up and the air filter side up. That way the fuel doesn't go. My the fuel and my lawnmower were very low, so I don't have any risk of it going out. But just to be on the safe side, I did put a plastic bag on top. And make sure to also disconnect the spark plug. That way, while you're rotating it, it doesn't automatically turn on. In addition to that, I'm going to be using this piece of lumber and putting it right next to the blade. That way the blade doesn't turn. Alright, just had to go a little bit more medieval with a, ha with a hammer and a wrench. Just knocked it off. Again, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And now it's just coming right off. Now I can remove it by hand. And that thing was tight, really tight. So that is it. This is out. I had to use a little bit of a WD-40 to get this going. Now that this is done, this comes out. As you can see, this is the old blade. The blade lines up perfectly, but the edges are gone. It has lost a lot of metal. As compared to the old blade, this newer blade is slightly heavier, which is good. The way that I want to mount, and again, be careful, this thing is a little bit sharp. The way that I want to mount is the flange size down, take a little bit of penetration fluid, just push it in, it prevents the rust. Just blend it in and there you go. Start tightening it by hand and then take your wrench and tight tightening it. And for good measure, just bang it once. And that's it. That's it. This is done. Now we're going to be straightening the lawnmower and replacing the air filter and also the spark plug. To replace the air filter, just take the top latch off. This is the old air filter. As you can see, it is filthy. It is absolutely full of crud. Uh, you'll get really bad gas mileage. I did try to knock it off a little bit couple of times but yeah this is done uh, this is a brand new one all white all clear you can't even see light coming through this one so light is coming in on this one that's it very easy just push it in plug it in close the cover and snap it into place so the filter is on just disregard this or just toss it out there is no saving this now to change the spark uh, plug just get the tool that you get from Lowe's or Home Depot. This is the one that I got. It works. Take out the leading cord. And the spark plug on this one is at an angle. It's not completely straight. It's a little bit tilted. So take your socket thing, plug it in. Once it connects, take the pipe thingy that is there. And again, lefty loosey, righty tidy. And a little bit of push. It comes out. And preferably do change the spark plugs uh, on and the air filter uh, frequently. That way you don't end up overexerting your lawnmower and spoiling the engine. So this is the old spark plug. <laughs> it's full of carbon. Uh, this is a new one, identical. And this one has no carbon at all. It's already pre-gapped, so you don't have to worry about it. Just initially feed it by hand. And again, remember, it is a little bit angled. And tighten it. Take your socket thing that you have push it in and just give it a little bit of a tug don't break it because this is very delicate just push it in and that's it spark plugs again uh, dispose of it uh, carefully push the wire in you will hear the click and that's how you replace the blade and also take care of uh, the air filter and the spark plug on your lawnmower as always, like, comment, subscribe. 
you have any questions about this video or if you want me to provide additional details please feel free to let me know i'll be happy to help hi people take care bye